freestyle to me means to make people feel stoked to go ride. There's no standard to how you're supposed to ride or what you're supposed to look like, you know? Your own expression, whatever you want to do. Style is everything. You know, you want to look good, feel good, ride good, you know? That's going to add to your unique flavor as a person and kind of make you stand out. Remember, to be who you are, that's the most important. Here we go. Action. I started snowboarding when I was nine years old. I always knew I wanted to be a pro skier, even since I was four years old. It was just my favorite thing to do. When I started snowboarding, I was into all types of sports. I did cross-country skiing, soccer, kind of anything. When I was nine, I got a hand-me-down board, and I actually learned in my backyard behind a snowmobile. By the time I was eight years old, I was competing in slope style, and at that point I knew I was going to be a pro skier. I was able to snowboard every day after school. If it was nice weather, if it was raining, if it was windy, it didn't matter, you know? We just went and rode every day. It was kind of my gateway to go explore the mountains, spend more time outside. It wasn't until I was like 15 that I really realized I loved park and I wanted to put all my energy into slope style and like progressing more in that. You could say like I've sacrificed time and normal things that other kids do at home, but I've just been living my childhood dream. Somehow it turned into my job. Hello, welcome to my documentary. We are in order suite and for Oakley shoot. Oh yeah. It was just more action, you know? It was different. Skiing has been like my driving force in life. Anytime I don't get to ski, I get really like in my head and just kind of stressed out about things. And then as soon as I get back to skiing, it all just like flushes away. And it's supposed to clear up and uh, yeah, maybe have a sunset shoot, a little barbecue, top of the park. Should be a vibe. I fell in love with the snowboard community. It became like family. 20 years later, it's taken me to so many places. Snowboarding has been uh, most of my life. Hey buddy, how you doing? Good man. I've felt love from the ski community my whole life. It's like a tight knit family. Everyone's so supportive. We spend so much time on the road and away from our family that it felt really nurturing to have people you really love and trust around you. Can we go have a jump together? Compared to a lot of other sports, we're not enemies on the start gate, you know? It's not like, F you. You're not gonna see what I'm gonna do, you know? Peace and love, buddy. Peace and love. That's what I like the most about it. We're all just tight and share the same oh, yeah. passion sharing for each other, having a good time, kind of like when you were a kid starting to do sports. Come on, let's make some, create some magic. What a crazy guy. <laughs> By the time opening day comes around, we're all always fired up to get out there. So I think it, it does feel the same as when we were little. Snowboarding is still punk rock, you know, it's still up going to the mountains, have fun, do some crazy shit. I think it's important to get outside and connect with people. It's still just about the culture of snowboarding and being together in the mountain. There's so much like mental strength that comes with sports and anything we do in life. It's important to remember that it's not always about winning. Just be grateful for the experience. You're probably gonna do your best and it's really just a perspective thing. It's good to have a goal because then you have something to fight for. And when you achieve it, it's like the most insane feeling. It doesn't get much better than like learning a new trick. You probably get the same feeling of trying something that I've been scared to try as I do when I like land a whole slope style run. Just because you're pushing yourself, you're pushing your limits. Have your friends right there to celebrate with you is a special thing. I think just in life in general, it's, it's good to have both smaller and bigger goals to have something to look forward to.
Style is one of the things that makes snowboarding so unique. I don't want to look sketchy. I don't want to do big tricks that look out of control. Training is really just going out and riding with your friends, and then we go on these trips, and it's like vacation. <laughs> we laugh, we party, we, you know, get to experience all these amazing things. It's not like tomorrow we have practice or training from 10 to 12, you know, you ride five runs and then you're done. It's like we go up, we ride. If it's good, we ride all day. If it's shit, maybe we go down and... It's nonstop, but it's, it's what we do. It's fun to see it change and to watch myself evolve and get older and to see how far women snowboarding has come. The best way of progressing is to push yourself to the next limit. It's all up to the individual on how you're going to express yourself and what kind of tricks you're going to do. You want to want to do it, you know what I mean? Then it becomes easier. And now as I'm like thinking about the future, and I would love to like work with more kids, help facilitate like getting kids into sports, have more purpose and have passion. I think it's really important to do what you love. The core snowboarding community and the value of snowboarding will always stay the same, you know? People will still go snowboarding in the mountain and have a good time. I definitely try to seize the day every day. I'm living my bonus years because I almost died in 2016. Don't want to take anything for granted after that. Got to make it count, you know? It's like the season that doesn't, isn't that long and you got to pack it all in. I think that's like the beautiful thing about snowboarding is it brings out like the pure spirit and everyone's out there because they just love to snowboard and have fun. If I had to describe what I do to an eight-year-old desert nomad, I'd probably tell them I do a bunch of flips and spins in the air and, and I grind rails riding around on skis. If my life was like a line, it would be a roller coaster. It's great to be reminded to just be yourself, love who you are, and I think when you're around like-minded people and have a community of homies that want to just enjoy life and get out in the mountains. It's great. It's so fun. Okay, everyone ready? Drop it in 10. Draw your line. There's many different ways I perceive it. The first thing that came to mind is like skiing a line up in Alaska. Where there's no other tracks around, no other people, and it's just an untouched face. Imagining where your line would be. Yeah, that felt insane. Ready for it? 